Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy, Love here, back with another video for the channel. Hope you're all having a great weekend so far. This, oh, this is an exciting day. This is exciting to be watching football for a while. If you have not heard the news or you've been living under a rock or you've had no Wi-Fi or just whatever bloody reason you haven't heard, Mark Mosley has been sacked and most of his backroom staff by Ron Mine on Friday afternoon and we see the return of the Messiah, the manager who we could argue in maybe the last... 10 seasons, or 10 years, sorry, has been one of our most successful managers at the club. It is Phil Brown. He is back. Get in there. It is his first game back today against a Crawley side who are struggling for form as of late. But speaking of Crawley, let's get into this. Name, Crawley Town. They go by the nickname of the Reds, or alternatively, the Red Devils. Obviously not Man United, because, yeah, you're not that great, sorry. But no, their stadium, they play at the People's Pudge Stadium, which has a capacity of 6,134. Definitely all seated and not heated. Going into today's game, we can see the only green on there belongs to South End. It is nutty to say that. Crawley, bottom of the form guy going into today's game. That is bloody major for us. New manager in. We've got to be picking up points though. Surely three is got to be a standout for that. Speaking of three points, looking into the table, we can see, look, the bottom of the table is heating up. Colchester losing their game yesterday. 5-2 to Oldham. Bloody embarrassing boys. But Alternatively, Crawley up there, up in 14th. They could easily jump up a few spots today. Or even if Port Vale get the win, they could see themselves sliding down to join maybe even the likes of Colchester and Barrow, who are just above survival here in League Two. Big game today for both teams. Speaking of which, Phil Brown's team. Oh, this is good. Not many changes from Tuesday night against Morecambe. However, it looks a bit different and a bit okay. The only replacement is Holmes has come in for Ashley Nathaniel George, which is a bit odd considering he's our only real goal scorer recently. But hey, he's got a point to prove today. Let's bloody let him go. Dieng and Halford are more than next to each other today in a two up top instead of like a one, then one in front formation. Bench sees Oli Inka, Goodship, Eggbury. Brilliant to see that. Matt Rush is on the bench well. Thank Christ. He scores tons of the under 23s. Come on, Matty Rush. Get a goal today. In fact, come on, whole team. Get a goal. Get the win. Get up this table, escape relegation. Come on, you blues. Up Phil Brown's Barmy Army. Crawley coming into the blues box. It cleared out by Ferguson. Ferguson with all. Tackle from high by Josh Wright. Number 34 and red to Josh Wright. Number 34 in the box. Clear it. Oh my God, Sean Hodgson. Have my babies. Have my babies. He just kept that out there. The number eight, I think it was number eight in red, was ready to pull the trigger then. But Hobson got down quickly to that. Helford, shoot! Oh, keep his gloves. Oh, shot number 38 in red. Come in. It's on the box. Carl over shot. Ooh, just skimmed right off the post there. I think that was Tilly again. He's having a blind of a start here to this game. Jesus, we need to keep a leash on this boy. Tyler Cordner, special time. One throw in, ordered into the Crawley box here. You know, Deliveroo's not going to have Tyler Cordner. So he plays it short. What? He literally just played that short. I picked that up so much. Dimitri ball in off the head of a red Glenn Morris in the net. So we tried the Tyler Cordner throw and that didn't go too well. Now we've got the Greg Halford special. Premium delivery into the Crawley box right now. No short ones this time. Greg Halford lobs it into the penalty spot area. Over the head of the end. Ferguson's brought it down. Shoot someone. Crawley break away. Probably the last action of the half here is a corner to Crawley. James Tilly, ball into the box, in the middle. Number 18 in reds there. Corner beats him in the air. Dieng then wins the ball. Ferguson with the ball. Everyone's got it. Cleared out for a throw into Crawley. Referee's not blown for half time. Come on, referee over the time limit. Half time. So, half time at Roots Hall then. Phil Brown's first game back at Roots Hall. First half. Yeah, bit lucky, I'd say, almost. I'd say we started off the game, both teams going at it, hammer and tong to see who draw first blood in this game. Both teams still going for it, to be fair, but Crawley, oh, how they're not 1-0 up by now is honestly frightening. They've had a shot cleared off the line by Cordner. They've had plenty of slip balls through. They could be 1-0 up. Towards the end of the half, they had a, basically an open net to score in, and the ball was overhit. So their, I think it was their midfielder missed the ball, and obviously it went out for a throw in. They should be obviously winning this. They're just really getting unlucky. It's just lucky for us. They don't have that firepower up top today with Tom Nichols going almost rogue in that first half, which is brilliant to see from a South End fan, obviously. But from a South End fan, Looking at that team, 
Yeah, there's a few players I'm a bit questionable of. Ferguson's not had the greatest of hearts. Yes, he's against his ex-club, but I thought I would fire him up a bit, you know. Want to prove himself against his former team, get into their faces. But you know what? No, he's not. And Recco's having a bit of a sloppy game, to be fair. I'd say Cordner's having a great game so far. Hobson's a bit shaky, personally. And who else? We've got Ricky Holmes. He's actually re-stepped up. His first game starting today. And bloody hell, he looks really good. He's been doing some good crosses, drawing some good fouls. Really? There's not much to say in the half. It's just been back and forth. No real clear-cut chances apart from maybe one or two going to Crawley. But, you know what? It's quite even. I'd like to say we could nip this if we bring on maybe Rush, Oli and Kerr, Sam Hart. You know, bring on some fresh legs. But, honestly, it's too hard to tell now. And I'm normally confident by this point of what's going to happen by the end of the game. But, you know what? I don't actually know. We're going to see how this plays out. But, hey, come on, you Blues. Let's get a goal. Dimitri wins a header here for Blues. Halford brings the ball down with his chest. Passes it off. Hasn't passed it off. Now it's Ferguson. Ferguson in the box. Shoot! Oh, it's come off the post! Your record. Ball in! No, the Elvis shoots over the bar. Ferguson, foot off the post from the edge of the box. Oh! Phil Brown must have said something in that changing room at half time. Jesus, he's come out fighting there. Good shot. Morris was beaten, but the left post is shaking. Christ! Ref! Referee! Oh my god, this referee! Oh dear. Reco has gone down in the box right by the byline there. Being harassed by the number 15. Right, just right. Get out. Stop throwing your hand in the bloody air, you toss part. Holmes, quit freaking. Bruno crosses it. No one there. Rico, shoot! Rico, you. Why? What have you done? Rico was one on one. He messed his feet up and he's just put it into the keeper's gloves. Oh my god. I'm watching the replay. Oh my god. He misses the first. He scuffs the first shot. Then he shoots straight into the gloves of the keeper. All the Blues players up there. Hands in their. Well, yeah. Heads in hand. Whatever the saying is. But bloody hell, Rico. Corner. Crawley. 72 on the clock here. Oh, out on the right hand side here. Crawley, ball, whipped into the box, towards the back post, headed out by Mill Aqua to the back, number 16 in red, I believe that's Nichols, has pinched the ball there off Ferguson, Nichols, puts the ball in the box, shot by number 10, Oxley, oh you beauty Oxley, what a save that was, got down quickly to his right to stop that going in, Jesus Christ, maybe I've been a bit harsh on him lately, that was a blinder of a save. 83 minutes and a half on the clock. Blues have a free kick towards the right-hand corner of the Crawley boxer. Dimitri and Clifford over it. It's got to be a Cliffy one. He's got the better cross here. Come on. Clifford, get a nice one in there on a big boy's head. Smack it. Clifford, ball in the box. Into the middle. Hops the Shoot, Ollie and Kerr into the stand. Ball currently with Mark Oxley. Ready for a goal kick here. Assistants just put up his board for four minutes of added time. Can I see a scoring? No. But hey, prove me wrong, boys. Aqua. Ball out here to Goodship. Goodship's out wide. He's flicked over one crawly defender there. Good play. Still on the ball. He's done the other one. He's done both of them. Go on, Goody. In the box. Ferguson, shoot. Why take the touch? Why would you not shoot first time? He had the chance just to pelt it and go. He takes the touch. The crawly man defends it. Oxley with the ball then. Four minutes has been shown on the clock. Kicks the ball. Full time. Nil nil at Roots Hill. Not good enough. Not good enough in the slightest. So, full time at Roots Hill. South End nil. Crawley Town nil. Not the kind of game I think we were all expecting. We were all behind Phil Brand today to bring home the magic three points, but. Yeah, that means now South and only one win in their last 11 games. But some fans, I think, need reminding. Just this quick here. Brown has only been with the squad 24 hours. And I'm seeing quotes up saying Mark Mosley was better than this and we shouldn't have sat Mosley. Sorry, but seriously? Like, ugh, I'm not going into too much deal over this. It's, it's too much to go into. But it's just like some people need to really look at the bigger picture. But no, it gives Brown something to work on today's game, I feel. He can now go into next week and identify some some of the better players today. Because there were a few, you know, that were standouts. You had Eggbury come on for the last 10 or so minutes, or 20 minutes, sorry. He bloody did more than Reco Hackett Fairchild did in 79. Who else did we have? We had Tyler Cordner. He had a brilliant game for our Hobson really stepped up in the second half. Elvis has looked better. Demi Mitchell even had a good game today, I feel. There were some that were a bit slack, like maybe Aqua, Goodship and Halford, coincidentally all our strikers. But hey, you know, we just needed that one bit of luck today. It didn't fall our way. And like I said, some people just really need to look at the bigger picture. Brown has been here 24 hours. He's met the players, had a two-hour training slot and gone straight into game day. Like, 
Come on now, seriously, have a look at it, for God's sake. But no, on to Exeter next week, who did win 4-1 today, which is not great to see, but hey, we're really good at causing upsets, so let's just bloody hope we can cause one next week. Oh, it's just disappointing. I was really hoping today for the win, but hey, we need to get building, and we've only got five games now to do. We need to win at least three of them. I'm not going to put it lightly. We're in the deep doggy doo-doo. If we stand a chance of surviving, then yeah, we need to pull our fingers out. Hopefully Brown now has got a week just to get into those players, get their bloody shooting boots on for next week and pull the magia. I'm going to wrap this up here, boys and girls. I hope you've all watched this all the way through and had a great experience with it. If you have, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All done. It's all free to do and great for the channel. I'm going to wrap it here. My name's been Divestie, and it goes, peace. Thank <laughs> you.